My name is John De Los Santos, and I am the librettist and director of The Copper Queen with Marble City Opera. In 2015, Clint Borzoni and I applied to the Arizona Opera's Arizona Spark Commissioning Program that requested an idea for an original opera that had something to do with Arizona. And as Clint and I both enjoy horror stories and big operatic love stories, we decided to go with The Copper Queen, which is based on a legend of a woman who lived in the Copper Queen Hotel, which actually is in Bisbee, Arizona, and after her murder or suicide, has remained to haunt the room to this day. Clint and I actually stayed in that room, and some absolutely haunting things happened to both of us, which I hope to share with you at a later time. But we spent about three years working on the opera itself, going through several different versions and then workshops. And then once we got to 2019, the piece was going to premiere, but then because of the pandemic, it had to be postponed. And it was eventually made into a feature film by Arizona Opera, but Marble City is going to be the first time the opera has been fully staged, which I'll be directing. The piece is a very, very intense and concentrated examination of female inheritance. The idea of what women have gone through in the past and how those pains and realizations and wisdom is inherited to women of today. So by using a ghost story frame, we've been able to hopefully explore those themes and bring them to the fore while also providing opportunities for really expansive, beautiful music, duets, arias, all of the things you would see in a full-length opera, even though this one is a concentrated 90 minutes, which was important to me, because with no intermission, there's nowhere to escape. So just as the ghost is trapped in this room, you are trapped in the room with her and must go on this journey along with the characters and hopefully learn and feel what she's feeling as well. The basic story is about a woman who in 2010 goes to the Copper Queen Hotel. Her name is Addison Moore. And while there, she hopes to experience some kind of contact with this legendary ghost, even though she doesn't really believe it. And the action fluctuates and it goes back between 2010 and 1910, back and forth. So we see Addison's time when she's experiencing these ghostly hallucinations. And then in 1910, where we actually see what happened with Julia while she lived and was trapped in this hotel by her father who owned the building. And I don't want to give away the ending, but the whole opera is barreling towards this climax where you learn what is the connection between these two women? What is the inheritance that Addison has gained from this visit to this spiritual place? So I really look forward to sharing this incredible new opera with all of you and the citizens of Knoxville and hopefully fans of new contemporary opera.